I did my micro clip sometime in April. Before the clip, I have a problem climbing stairs. I need to break and take a deep breath and also walking long distance. But immediately after the clip, actually the following day, I feel very fine. I breathe very much better. I climb stairs without any problem and I can walk longer distance. We'll talk to you about a new procedure called the mitral clip, which is a new and innovative method by which we can treat, uh, without the need for open heart surgery, patients with a condition called mitral regurgitation. Uh, mitral regurgitation is a condition in which uh, there is a leakage of the heart valves on the left side of the heart. Uh, this condition may be due to various factors. It may be due to a functional problem, meaning the heart has become big and therefore the heart valves leak. It may be due to degeneration of the valves, that means with time these valves have become worn off and leak. Uh, it may be due to congenital causes. I'm 51 years old. Doctor said my heart is weak, very weak. When I carry my backpack, I feel very tired. And I tell you, I feel very terrible, terrible breathing. I feel that I'm very useless because in my life, uh, I never ever feel this way. So after that, I was admitted. Medications can reduce the symptoms generated by this condition but will not treat the problem with the valve itself. More commonly, patients with severe mitral regurgitation can be treated with open heart surgery, which is the conventional treatment for most patients. However, surgery can be related with risk of open heart surgery as well as a prolonged stay after surgery. And now, this new device called MitraClip therapy provides an alternative to high-risk patients who may benefit from a smaller and less invasive procedure. I did my bypass sometime in 2008. Due to the weak heart, there's a leakage in the heart. My cardio doctor recommended me to do this microclip and I was referred to NUH. Before the microclip procedure, most patients would require a transesophageal echo, which is an ultrasound scan specially used to look at the heart valve clearly to decide whether these patients are suitable for the procedure. These patients usually also undergo a series of blood tests that is done to make sure they are suitable for general anesthesia. The mitral clip procedure is done under general anesthesia, meaning the patient will not be feeling any pain or discomfort during this procedure. The mitral clip procedure is done in a minimally invasive manner. It is done through small little puncture marks in the leg. A small catheter is passed into the heart and we cross the atrial septum. The device is then deployed in the left side of the heart where we will grip the loose ends of the leaking valve and place them closer together. Sometimes more than one clip can be used if the mitral regurgitation is still severe at the end of the first implantation. A mitral clip is very useful when the surgical risks of patients are high and a procedure like the mitral clip, which is minimally invasive, would be less risky for this group of patients. I was afraid that I might have minor stroke or bleeding in the body. After the operation, in fact, the very next day, I can do my normal activity. Best of all, there's no pain during the operation. Worldwide, there have been more than 5,000 mitral clip placements in the world. And in 90 over percent of patients, uh, this procedure is a success. Successful mitral clip procedure is often associated with improved patient's symptoms, meaning if the patients were short of breath before, they often improve in terms of feeling less short of breath and they could walk further than they can be, uh, than they are used to. Uh, these patients' quality of life has also been shown to be improved after a successful procedure. <laughs> I can feel the difference. Once they put me the clip, right, I feel my body very light. It's much better. I feel like back to normal. I don't feel anything when I carry my bag. Hopefully when I recover, I can 
I can do everything back. About two days later, I was discharged and I can even go home by myself. I'm fit and very alert until today. I'm living better after the procedure and all thanks to the doctors and the team in NUH.